I'm Natalia Bonner, welcome back. All right, today I have a really fun machine quilting video. I always have fun machine quilting videos, right? All right, so in this fun machine quilting video, I am going to be teaching you how to machine quilt this really awesome feather background filler. Now, as we get started, you're all going to be wondering, what are you quilting on? It's kind of a weird area where you're machine quilting this design. Well, I have a brand new class that launches in June 2024. This brand new class is called Foundations for Free Motion Quilting Feathers. I'm so dang excited. So in this awesome class, besides two bonus background filler designs, I'm going to be teaching you how to machine quilt 21 different feather motifs. So it's going to be awesome. We'll start out really simple with basic feathers, get you comfortable machine quilting feathers, and then we'll work through getting a little bit more detailed, a little bit more advanced, and by the final lesson, we're going to be quilting some really beautiful, intricate feathers. Now, we are going to be using some rulers as we get comfortable and work through this class, so you can register for this class, but also pick up my awesome new Sway machine quilting rulers over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So in this class, I will be using the Sway 3, the Sway 5, <laughs> and also the Sway 4 machine quilting rulers. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on that background filler. Obviously, I'm going to be quilting it here as a background filler in the outside white sections of my quilt. But this design, a lot of the filler designs that I share, you could use, like I'm doing here, but you could also make it a little bit bigger and quilt it across the whole entire quilt or you could shrink it down and use it like as a background filler or around applique. You know, really make your machine quilting pop, just adjusting the scale of different motifs. All right, so I am super duper excited about this new class. Like I said, you can enroll now over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. In today's video though, we are going to be focusing on this background filler. So I'm going to be doing all of my quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine. The thread that I'm going to be using here on the top is so fine. The color is celery. It's a really awesome green color. Then in my bobbin, I've really loved using the pre-wound super bobs lately. So I am going to be using the pre-wound super bob and I actually went with the color number 624, a nice off-white color. Blended beautifully with this quilt, so that's what I'm sticking with. The batting that I'm using here is one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting. Alrighty friends, I'm super duper excited about this background filler. Let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. I just love this feather motif for a filler or an all over design. It's really elegant, but really it's actually pretty simple and fast to quilt out. Let me show you how. Now this particular design, I am actually quilting down the right side of my foundations for free motion quilting feathers class sample. So that's what this weird space over here is. I like to have a lot of fun when I create these classes, so that's why I used one background filler over on the left side of the quilt and a second background filler over here on the right side of the quilt. When I quilt out this design, I'll start out by stitching a swirl. As I'm stitching my swirl, you'll notice that as I'm stitching to the center, I am thinking ahead, leaving myself an out or enough space to stitch out of that design. Once I've stitched out of that design, then I'll go right into my first feather. I like to quilt the bump back feathers when I put quilt this design, just because it gives that little bit more elegant look. You can also quilt a more playful feather or even a curly feather, but for some reason, I prefer those bump back feathers. Have fun with it, make it your own design. So once I've stitched that first little section, that first swirl with the feathers around it, then I'm going to go on adding a few echo stitches and start quilting my second. Now you'll notice as I stitch out that second feather motif, I am going to alternate directions with my feathers. And this is something I'm going to try to do throughout this whole design. I want to alternate directions because that creates a little bit more interest. It doesn't make it so everything's going in one direction and everything's uniform. It's a little bit more interest when you try to make things appear to be a little bit more random. 
Now with a design like this, you'll see that usually I'm going to quilt three or four feathers after I quilt that swirl. I don't believe in rules, so really it's as many feathers as I feel like fill in that space completely. If I have a little bit of extra space, then of course I'm going to add in a few echoes. Now on these echoes, it really doesn't matter the spacing. My spaces are probably, I'm going to say maybe a quarter to an eighth of an inch, but it really doesn't matter. As long as I'm consistent and it looks good, then I'm happy with it. So to quilt out this design, I'll repeat that process over and over and over until I have filled in my spaces completely. Here I am obviously using a high contrast green thread. I wanted to use one thread color throughout this whole class and my background filler. I love that the quilting really stands out, but when you're starting machine quilting, if you choose to add or use thread colors that are a little bit more maybe matching, you might end up with a little bit better design overall. Yes, I love the high contrast, but it definitely shows off any imperfections. So think about that as you're planning your machine quilting. I love how this design turned out. So I will continue this design as I work my way through this class, quilting this design in my background filler all the way down that right side of my quilt. I love how this turned out. I hope you're all able to find a bit of inspiration from this feather motif. I'm super duper excited for my brand new class, Foundations for Free Motion Quilting Feathers, and we'd love to have you enroll. Find all of the details over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. 